Let's just look at the expression on a couple of our pond artists face right now. <laughs> oh, he's, were you just wiping your nose because you, it's, it's that emotional? He's like, oh. <laughs> what are they going to say? You guys like the wizards of water. There's no doubt in my mind. I could bring in anybody to do what I would try to take my vision, but you took the vision and you ran with it and you, That's you came well. up with something that looks killer. I'm going to turn the camera around and give you guys the reveal that they just got to see. So I love how it turned out. I believe we really, really, really capitalized on not only the location of the design, the way we designed it, but just really, like I said, capitalized on the visual impact of what these rippled urns can really do, especially when there's five of them. I think we nailed it. So without further ado, let me turn the camera around. So we just finished up our last job of the year. Usually at this point I come in and try to take credit for everything, but <laughs> I, can't, I can't on this one. The guys absolutely killed it. I think this time, instead of me showing you the end result, let's just look at the expression on a couple of our pond artists' face right now. <laughs> oh, he's, were you just wiping your nose? Because you, it's, it's that emotional? <laughs> what was the most challenging part of it besides the weather? Getting all the sod out of here. I would say that first day, just, just getting the sod stripped. What I was very, very pleased about was the efficiency of the project. Like we had three guys on it the first day just to dig, get the reservoir in. And then we hit it with our entire team yesterday. We had a plan. We knew exactly what we were going for. And we all kind of broke up in little groups and we just tackled it and just crushed it. Got it done very, very quickly. It looks great. Matt, what'd you take away from this last build? Literally the last build of the season. What I took away, maybe one of the most challenging parts about this project was getting the position of the urns exactly how we wanted them. All of us took a lot of time. We walked down the street that way. Oh, that's awesome. The street that way, just to get the right angle for all the urns. So I thought that was the main thing that I took away from Well, I think the thing that the two of us, maybe the three of us are most excited about is what this thing is going to look like in the winter. With a 1,200 plus gallon reservoir on there, this thing should be able to go, go, go all winter long. At least is our guess. <laughs> At the very least, uh, we start running out of the water, we can come out here and slow them down quite a bit. Should we show them yet? Should we show them the end result? Nah, let's go see what go our awesome. consumers uh, think of. <laughs> So we're out here at Hot Tub Tony's. Only one character in the world just like him, and that's him. But he was excited to get this done, and I just wanna share with you kind of their feelings on the whole thing and what they're most excited about. So we don't do too many interviews after the fact. But... I am Hot Tub Tony at Hot Tub Tony. <laughs> Illinois. And your partner? I am. Who's <laughs> this? The, the business the, partner. I'm the, the brains behind the organization yeah, yeah. over here? Uh, <laughs> you know that. You know about that. Where's your location? Geneva, Illinois. Geneva. 2526 Kesslinger Road. Awesome. 60134. So what was the inspiration behind wanting to do a water feature out front? I drive to work for the last six years and I see the front yard and it looks so plain. And I was like, we gotta do something or we gotta do something. And I wanted to soften it because it's kind of a warehouse look and I wanted to soften the location. Just when you looked at it and made the building not have a warehouse feel from the front. And moving water, it, it's what we do. We move water, yeah. we move water, kind of what you do. Uh, let's show them the inside of your yeah. place just so they get an idea of what you mean by moving water. Uh, 200 plus hot tubs this yeah, year? Yeah. That's insane. It's crazy. So a warehouse usually packed to the gills with About 30 hot, 30 tubs. hot tubs. And these are your last floor samples, really. So the view they're talking about is right out these windows over here. And I'm gonna, nope, not yet. Matt, you were here almost the entire time. How did the crew handle everything? Outstanding. I gotta say, just watching you guys work, your work ethic, cleaning up everything, I couldn't be more impressed. The finished product is, if you're looking at it, it was unbelievable. We've been in this industry a long time. You build swimming pools, you get down, you get a, a mud pit and you got a pool. This is from fit to, it's like fit and finish, the finished product is what you're looking at, it's beautiful. And so I think the three of us are outside, we're talking, now the three of us in here are talking. Um, the one thing we're all extremely excited about is what this thing's gonna look like over the winter. Yeah. And we already see a little bit of ice starting up out there, cause it is middle of December, and almost end of December here. Week after week, that ice is gonna change and evolve, and then we get those colored lights on there, it's oh, yeah. gonna turn into this like Narnia well, yeah, looking. What he, what he doesn't know is we have the Elsa wig and everything for him, so <laughs> ice castle, he can run around out there, 
and <laughs> some frozen. Well, Disney, uh, yeah. <laughs> no kids. No kids. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I got a wig. I don't know who it's yeah, from. <laughs> <laughs> That's for later. Yeah. <laughs> What are they gonna say? You guys like the Wizards of Water? There's no doubt in my mind. I could bring in anybody to do what I would try to take my vision, but he took the vision and he ran with it, and you came wow. up with something that looks killer. And it looks like what you guys said. It looks like it would be in the front of the Bellagio. Yeah, yeah, right. So I think what's awesome too is customers like Tony also trust in us to just kind of go with it. Not everybody takes that giant leap of faith and just says, "Yeah, like, uh, wow me." And uh, so we try to do that every single time. And so thank you, Tony. Thank you, Matt. Uh, it was a pleasure to oh. do this. Can't wait to uh, spruce it up. We're gonna bring out two more lights because more is better. And then we're gonna get you guys kind of set up with uh, Wasco Nursery, hopefully, about doing some plantings and stuff for you. Okay. I got a tree tagged for you out there, so we'll get that Ooh, put in in the spring. Fun. Awesome, thank you so much. Hey, you guys wanna see it yet? Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so now that Brian is all wrapped up with the customers, getting their reaction, I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you guys the reveal that they just got to see. So I love how it turned out. I believe we really, really, really capitalize on not only the location of the design, the way we designed it, but just really, like I said, capitalize on the visual impact of what these rippled urns can really do, especially when there's five of them out here. Again, as you can see, we've got a bunch of traffic behind me, so it's a very high exposure area. And with the amount of water we're cranking over these bad boys and bad girls, I think we nailed it. So without further ado, let me turn the camera on. Wow, right? Look at these rippled urns. seen in a lot of our videos especially recently we've been using a lot of the stack slate elements that we have so this is actually the first time this year that we've installed anything any of the rippled urns out of the gfrc fountainscape product so really really nice how the texture and the color of these urns match in with the stone especially all this gravel it just ties together really well very modern very chic very nice clean lines it ties in with the sign i love the variation in heights also the staggering of them so regardless of any of these kids on the school bus or any of these people out here in their vehicles the stoplight they're going to have a variety of views as i'm walking along that street of all of the different urns and of course hot tub tony's sign but i love this that we ended up lighting all of the tops of these so that at night, regardless of what color Tony himself decides to pick out, looks like he's got blue going right now, what, but whether it's blue, purple, any color under the rainbow that these color changing lights can do, the tops of these things will illuminate and just really, really pop and stand out at night. And then I also especially love all the lights that we put in throughout the reservoir and the water feature itself, highlighting the sides of the urns. You can see the three different marks on the urn there. You can see another one right there at night when the sun goes down this place is going to look like a freaking nasa spaceship with water of course but it just turned out awesome as you can see we use about the five tons of stone that we had total of about 11 or 12 rocks down there's where we have the pump vault which is easily accessible we've got a fake rock skimmer lid over the top of the pump vault and then some of these tennessee river flats surrounding it just making it nice and easy and accessible as you can see there's an enormous amount of planting space in through here to allow for softscape to be installed to really tie everything back together obviously the sign and the water feature itself is the showpiece but like we always say in our videos the landscaping is kind of that last 10% that ties everything back together but this view is just incredible I love how it turned out the guys did a fantastic job I guess we've been into the fountainscapes the last month or so so this is probably our last project of the year you can see that we've already got ice forming up on top there so the temperatures are dropping daily here we may be shut down for the rest of the year outside however what that does is that kicks us inside where we are getting ready for our artists of the year tour that's happening at aquascape basically from the first of the year all the way through february so we're really excited about that 
but we are thrilled to have this possibly be the last project of the year for us. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hope you like the change of pace with the rippled urns and let us know what you think in the comments section below, okay? And as always, this is Chris from Team Aquascape signing off. Don't forget to tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for all new content from Team Aquascape. Till next time, peace out.